Well, the most common question I've been asked is how do I record my desktop? Which program do I use? Well, for the past couple of years, I've been using a simple screen recorder. And before that, I used a Voco screen, and before that, I used a program called Record My Desktop, which was awful and very slow. So let's take a look at some of it. Well, I've got the option to record the entire screen, select a specific screen, record a fixed rectangle, or record OpenGL. They're still calling this experimental, and yeah, it is to a certain extent. So yes, I can record gameplay directly from the OpenGL buffer rather than the screen. It's still a bit of a drain recording gameplay, but uh, it's nowhere near as bad as recording the screen. And you do get a considerably better quality. Certainly the times I've used this, I've not really had any complaints about uh, the quality of the recording. Uh, so the way you do it is you launch an application. So in this case, I have the Dark Places engine and just pass the command along to it about playing Dopa. That's the 20th anniversary of Quake. So I've been a little while since I last recorded a gameplay on here. So I've got the option there to launch now which you can test out to see if your command line is correct. As for recording Steam, uh, it is not something I've attempted. I'll do a slightly different method for that. Anyway, you've got the option here to record the size, frame rate. I like to record at 60 frames a second. And then I usually downgrade the videos to 30 frames a second because it gets a bit better on the encoding. Sadly, the CPU I have is a little bit slow these days. It takes a bit too long for doing 60 frames a second. So the next option is we have uh, audio input. So usually record off Pulse Audio and I can select the device from the list. Very easy. So continue along. This is where we get to set the options to save the files. A separate file per segment will ensure that you don't overwrite a video. Definitely worth clicking that button. The containers, well there are various different options on here, but the one I prefer to use is Matroska. But then the codecs I take, well, look, I edit the videos later on, so I want the highest quality. Literally, I don't care, this is just disk space right now, and it's temporary disk space. But there's a, quite a selection we can choose. So I take MP4, recording at 30 mega second. And for the audio, again, you've got various different options on here of what to choose. But I take FLAC, get lossless. Uh, I think bitrate is arbitrary for a FLAC. But I think 1200 is what you sort of need to aim for for a, a lossless codec. If it's something like MP3 or MP2, then the bitrate is going to be more prominent there. But, uh, yeah. As I said, I'm after the best quality here. If I wanted to put the video straight on YouTube, then I'd be choosing lower qualities for sure. Then I would just be uploading it straight away. Now this is the final page where we can start recording. Now I have hotkey recording enabled here. This is useful for gaming where the game doesn't launch directly into OpenGL. You sometimes get a title screen beforehand, which would cause the recording to drop and completely fail. So what you need to do is have simple screen recorder start and then as soon as OpenGL starts I can press Control R and recording will begin. For a standard recording of the desktop here that's not necessary I just start recording the video straight away. On the actual recording you do get information here about the frames a second and bit rate and you can even preview the video. So I'll go into some instructions in the description below on how to install simple screen recorder in Ubuntu based distros. I'm really happy with Simple Screen Recorder. I think it is a brilliant recording program. You don't have to wait after you've done recording. You literally save recording and you're done. You can get on and do what you want with video, be it whether you upload it or go and edit it. Or in my case, sit on them for a while. <laughs> no, no, don't, all, don't do it all the time. But yeah, it's, it's been brilliant. Uh, really the only times it's let me down is uh, when I've chosen to record a game. So I chose the sound source as the PC speaker and then forget to change it back. So when I do a recording like this, uh, you have a nice muted video of me just sitting here yapping away saying nothing at all. <laughs> so that was a bit embarrassing and fairly annoying when that happens.